The 6000 series has an analog bandwidth specification of 350 megahertz, and this corresponds to a rise time specification of one nanosecond. So in this section we're going to check this specification with a very fast telecom signal and then do a similar measurement on a clock signal with a 1.4 nanosecond calibrated edge and make a similar measurement with the times 10 probe, the TA101 500 megahertz probe which is included with the 6000 series. So the first thing I'm going to do is capture this very fast telecom signal and make a, a 10 to 90 percent rise time measurement. So I'll just stop the acquisition on this signal and here now we've got a rising edge so I'm just going to use the cursors to make a measurement just to check the uh, specification of the instrument. So I'm just measuring a 10 to 90 percent point and here we see in fact it is measuring the one nanosecond so from this we can see that the instrument does reach its full one nanosecond specification. I'm now going to move to a uh, a calibrated clock signal which has actually got a, a 1.4 nanosecond edge so I'm just reconnecting the channel A and I'll just do an auto set on this second clock signal so here we can see the clock signal in fact we can see it's not terminated correctly so we're getting some ringing on the top here so I'm just going to terminate it into the 50 ohm input and then do an auto set and now we can see this clock signal is correctly terminated into the 50 ohm. So now I'm going to increase the time base and measure the rise time on, on this edge. So we can go uh, to a faster time base speed. And now I'm going to use the measurements to make a, a rise time measurement on, on this edge. So I'm going to add a measurement. So from channel A, I'm going to select uh, the rise time measurement. And I'll leave it on the whole trace. So here we see the measurement, in fact I'll just stop the acquisition. So we can see that the uh, rise time measurement made here is in fact 1.2 nanoseconds. And this is a 20 to 80% measurement. So I'll leave it, right. I'm going to turn on channel 2 now where I've got connected a times 10 probe. And I'll run the system again. So I'm now going to connect the probe to the same test point as channel A. So here now we see the rising edge so I'm just going to stop the acquisition so I'm going to do a similar measurement now on channel B so I'm going to add measurement so channel B and do a rise time measurement and I'll leave it on the whole trace so the probe now is measuring the uh, rise time as 2.1 nanoseconds and again, this is doing a 20 per 80% uh, measurement. So just finally, we'll just do a third measurement using a 10 to 90%. So I'm going to add a measurement. So I'll use the probe uh, selection, channel B, and do a rise time measurement. But now I'm going to go into advanced, and I'm going to change the thresholds to 10 to 90%. So now we've got a third measurement being added, the 10 to 90%, and in fact that has moved the measurement out to 3.2 nanoseconds uh, for the wider threshold specifications.